Number 1. Find the words. At first glance, this is an ordinary scene you can observe at any public swimming pool. But there's a lot more to it than you think. In this picture, there are four hidden words. Are you fast and attentive enough to find all these words in 10 seconds? Hopefully, you've had enough time to spot the hidden words. Happy, pool, summer, and water. Which ones did you find? Let us know in the comments. Number 2. Mental math. Let's check how well you can crunch numbers in your head. You ready? Add 1,000 to 40. Then add 1,000 again and add 30. Add 1,000 more, then add 20. And finally, add another 1,000 and then add 10. If the first answer that came to your mind was 5,000, mm, that's wrong. In fact, the correct answer is 4,100. The numbers might seem easy enough, but this riddle tests your attention to detail. Check it out! We have 1,000 four times, so that's 4,000. And 4,000 plus 40 plus 30 plus 20 plus 10 equals 4,100. Number 3. Fish Escape Mark is a big fan of aquarium fish. When he left for work in the morning, there were 10 fish in his tank. However, when he came back home in the evening, he found that three of his fish had swum away, four had died, and one had drowned. Bad day in the tank, huh? So, how many fish are still in the aquarium? Hopefully, 10 seconds will be enough for you to do the calculations. Guess what? All 10 fish are still in the bowl, since they can't get out of an enclosed tank. Gotcha! Number 4. Bird's Eye View Look carefully at this colorful pyramid. Pretty, isn't it? And now, look at it from above. You need to act fast and use your 10 seconds to understand which of these top views, A, B, C, or D, corresponds with the original pyramid. The correct answer is C. This is the only view from the top where the colors match those of the pyramid. Whew, that was confusing. Number 5. What's wrong? Can you figure out what's wrong in this picture? Once again, pay attention to the tiniest details. Tick tock, your time has started. The odd one out in this image is the parrot. How did it get there? These tropical birds aren't particularly known for their love of winter. Number 6. Stolen Cookies One day, John, a father of four, went for a walk in the evening. But he wasn't out to get some fresh air. He was planning to snack on some peanut butter cookies. He couldn't do it at home since his wife has a really bad peanut allergy, and his kids were grounded and not supposed to eat sweets for a week. However, when John opened the bag, it was empty. The cookies were gone. When John got home, he invited all the kids to the living room and asked who'd eaten the cookies. Christopher, the youngest, said that he had been playing with his toy train. Robert answered that he had been helping his mom bake a pie in the kitchen. Lisa mentioned that she had been in the kitchen as well. She was helping mom make peanut butter fudge. The oldest child, David, said that he had been upstairs doing his homework. Good old dad knew instantly who the cookie thief was. Can you figure it out in only 10 seconds? Lisa ate the cookies. Since John's wife is extremely allergic to peanuts, it's highly unlikely that she'd be making peanut butter fudge with their daughter. Number 7. A lost emoji. 
Now, look at this image carefully. Whoa, there's a lot going on here. But can you spot one tiny emoji in this picture? Remember, you can always hit that pause button if you need more time. Ah, there it is! I thought I'd never find it. Number 8. Tragedy at a restaurant Successful businessman William was killed at the restaurant where he was having lunch. The criminal could only be another patron of the place. When the police arrived, they took all the other guests in for questioning. Karen told the detectives she'd been writing a new chapter in her book. Paul said that he'd been waiting in line to go to the bathroom. Donna had been putting on her coat after she paid for her meal. Robert had been chatting on the phone with his girlfriend. It didn't take the detectives long to figure out who the murderer was. Can you do the same in 10 seconds? The culprit is Paul. Besides Paul and the victim, there were only three other people in the restaurant, and they were all busy. Therefore, there couldn't have been any line to the bathroom. Number 9. Murder at Midnight Susan had been renting an apartment with her friend Linda for more than three years. One day, she came home from work late. She didn't see anybody in the apartment. She was so exhausted that she made herself dinner and went to her room to watch TV. However, at about 12 a.m., Susan was killed. When the police arrived, they had three suspects to question. Susan's roommate, Linda, her friend, Kara, and her boyfriend, Matthew. Linda told the officer she'd taken some sleeping pills and was sleeping all day long. Kara explained that she'd dropped in to visit Susan shortly before 12 a.m., and her friend was fine, just a bit tired. And Matthew said that he was the one who found Susan when he came to see her at 2 a.m. after he'd finished his shift at work. Can you figure out who the criminal is in 10 seconds? The murderer is Linda. She mentioned that after taking her sleeping pills, she slept the whole day. But by midnight, she would have already woken up. Number 10. Who is Pup? Can you figure out who this dog belongs to just by looking at this picture? A little hint. Pay attention to all the details. You never know what can help you. Have you come to the conclusion that the dog's owner is the boy in the middle? If so, then you got it! He's the only one who's not trying to pet the dog out of curiosity. Number 11. Find the murderer. A young man was stabbed in the bathroom of a famous restaurant. Boy, was this the same restaurant where the other dude was killed? I think I'd rather order takeout. Well, it's obvious that the murderer is someone who was also dining at the restaurant. Concentrate on the picture and find the offender. Be quick, remember that you're pressed for time. The murderer is the man at table number 4. His shirt looks ripped, as if there were a struggle. But most importantly, he's trying to eat a steak without a knife because it's missing. He must have used it to stab the victim. And number 12. A creepy well. Richard was returning home after a long day at work. He was walking through the park when somebody hit him on the head from behind. He woke up in a well. Luckily, there wasn't too much water in it. But as soon as Richard tried to climb out of the well, he realized that the walls were too slippery. He then noticed a rope with a bucket tied to it. The bucket was hanging pretty low, but try as he might, poor Richard couldn't reach it. However, after giving this problem some thought, he found the solution. Just 15 minutes later, he was out and running to safety. Can you deduce how Richard escaped?
He took off his shoes and, one by one, threw them into the bucket. The added weight brought the bucket down, and Richard managed to escape. And, of course, was able to add one more thing to his bucket list. Find out who the jerk was that pushed him down the well.